Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fulmin Adventure Club. And today we're gonna to be doing a really cool experiment where we try to run a electric water heater off of a battery system. So a battery and an inverter to see um, how long we can go during that process. Now there's a couple of caveats to this test. This is a 30 gallon, 120 volt water heater. A lot of you in residential situations are gonna have a 240 volt water heater, which you could still perform this test. You would just need an inverter that would put out 240 volts volts uh, compared to my 120 volt system. You would probably need two inverters set up for split phase. So you have two inverters at 120. They work together to make 240 volts. And a lot of people do have that set up um, to run their entire house. For me, I went with the 120 water heater just because I can run that off a generator and I thought that was pretty cool. So it's a 30 gallon. Here's a picture of it. We're gonna be running that off of this Victron 3000 watt inverter. And we're gonna be powering this with the big battery Husky 2 24 volt, 200 amp hour battery. You could do this test with a regular battery, but it's probably gonna, it's probably gonna toast it pretty quick because of the huge amounts of power draw that we're gonna be running out of this battery for long periods of time. So for instance, if you use like a deep cycle lead acid battery, it's gonna cook it. It's not gonna last long at all, unless you have a lot of them to share the load. Um, if you just used one, it'd be toast. And I have a lot of experience with lithium iron phosphate batteries. And if you used a 100 amp, uh, amp hour lithium iron phosphate, so a little guy at 12 volts, uh, you need really big cables and it's probably gonna do some damage to that battery as well. Cause a lot of them just aren't designed to run 2300 watts, you know, at 100 amps of draw for 35, 45 minutes. It's just really gonna shorten the lifespan of your battery in my opinion. Luckily for us, we're not using a regular battery. This is an absolute monster that a big battery sent over to me to review in a different video. And I'm still playing with it and testing it and having some fun with it, but it's a 24 volt battery, 200 amp hour and it's just an absolute beast. It can handle 150 amps of discharge continuously. And since it's 24 volts, the wire size that I have to use to go to the inverter are much smaller. Uh, during this test, the wires didn't even get warm and they're only four gauge wires, whereas a 12 volt system would require something like a, like a two watt minimum uh, wire, giant, giant welding cables uh, for that kind of power draw consistently for 45 minutes. So all that stuff being said, um, also if you're interested in the battery or any of this equipment, I'll put links in the description below that'll take you over to Big Battery, get you 10% off absolutely anything on their website in case you're interested, it'll save you some money and I appreciate them doing that for us and you. So link in the description below if you're interested in that, why don't we get right into it right now. All right, so we do have the Big Battery Husky 2 connected to my Victron Multi Plus 2 3000 watt inverter right there. And uh, we're gonna be monitoring that and recording it with the time-lapse camera on a Bluetooth display right there so we can see what's going on. You can see we're at 100%. I'm going to disconnect the solar charger before we begin. And uh, that's gonna be powering the water heater. Let's jump right into it. So this is actually a six and a half hour test for the water heater, that's how long it ran. But what I'm gonna do is put up this graphic and actually show you the times that the water heater was actually using energy. So the active water heating time to show you guys how long the water heater was actually active while we we're doing this test and what we were doing while we were using it. So let's get started. So the first thing that activated the water heater after being in standby was both of us taking a short shower and it took the water heater one hour and 12 minutes to recover after that usage. The next thing that's gonna spike right here is just gonna be washing a couple of bottles, no big deal, eight minutes. And then it goes dormant at six watts until the next thing we do is wash our hands, seven minutes there to recover. My display changes, but that's okay. We're still gonna get the right information here by counting the frames. The next time this guy kicks on is when we're doing a load of dishes in the dishwasher washer and that took 30 minutes of active water heater time to recover and the last time at 45 minutes of recovery was making a small little kid's uh, bathtub full of water in the tub for his bath and that took 45 minutes to recover. Now you can see here that the entire test took six and a half hours. That's how long our house was running like it normally would as we went about our day and we ended up with two hours and 42 minutes of active heating time. But I also want to show you the AC loads that were powering the water 
water heater were in 1,924 watts, but, was act, but what was actually coming out of the battery was 2,280 watts, so almost 2,300 watts at 87 amps of energy coming out of that battery for the longest time, an hour and 12 minutes. So this would be really hard on just about any battery. That's a lot of power to suck out of them for that amount of time, but it did really well. I will say one more thing. This test was conducted with the water heater already warmed up. I just switched over the wires and began the test. Um, and so that was just normal operation for six and a half hours. If you're at all interested to see how much energy is required to actually heat up a water heater that might've been sitting for a couple days and is cold, um, leave me some comments down below. And if you guys want me to do that, I can do that experiment for you too. So we can see how much energy a cold water heater takes to actually warm up, um, which would probably be a lot. Um, thanks so much for Big Battery for sitting over this equipment. It's all available over on the bigbattery.com website. And there's a link in the description below that will save you 10% on any of their big battery stuff over there. So thanks very much, guys. I appreciate that. So I can do this video for you guys. That about wraps it up. My name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club. If this video helps you out, please like, share, subscribe. That really helps me out. And until the next video, you guys, thanks so much for watching and happy camping.